chapter 21, thank you as always for joining me as we begin a new week in the Word of God. Proverbs 21, let's begin our reading at verse 16, please. A man who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. He who loves pleasure will become a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not become rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous, and the treacherous is in the place of the upright. It's better to live in a desert land than with a contentious and vexing woman. There is a precious treasure and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man <clears throat> swallows it up. You know, verse 16 is a wonderful reminder for each and every one of us, reminding us that it is possible to be on the way of understanding, but to wander away from it. And I don't think that the word wonder that is used here is by accident. You know, most of the time, a, a person doesn't set out to leave the path of understanding, to leave God's way, to pursue foolishness. It's, it's not a goal. But, but just as one wanders off the path in the woods, maybe it's curiosity, maybe it's distraction, maybe it's the allurement of flesh or whatever it may be, rather than let's appreciate it has a destination and its destination, Solomon says, is death. Brethren, we must remain diligent, diligent in study, filling our minds with God's wisdom, a daily thing as we're doing this very morning, that keeping first things first, understanding as the book of Hebrews so ably reminds us that falling away, apostasy, it's possible. You see, we can drift and drift some more if we're not diligent by way of study and application in our lives. I want you to look at verse 17. He who loves pleasure, Solomon says, will become a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not become rich. Self-control, self-discipline. You know, we live in a world that, that serves the God of pleasure and loves pleasure. A luxurious life, television shows, social media, uh, constantly bombarding our minds with this artificial worldly standard of success that, that, that promises happiness and joy and contentment and yada, 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 right? Billions upon billions of dollars spent each year in advertising, trying to convince us that if, if we can get this or build this or drive this or drink this or do this or have this, then we'll be fulfilled. And a man goes broke in search of these things, and whether it be literal financial poverty or it be spiritual poverty, poverty is the result. There's only one thing that will provide true joy, true happiness, true peace, and that's Jesus Christ. A relationship with him where there is hope that promises that things will get better, a, a precious desired expectation of eternal life in bliss with our Lord. That's better. Choose that. A hope that will never disappoint. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father in heaven, Father, we're so thankful for another week. that we begin in your word, Father, we pray that as a result of our time spent in your word, that our hearts will be honest, that we'll open up our hearts and allow your word to penetrate it, Father, and that we'll change if we need to change, Father. Help us to see the things of this world for what they are. Help us to cherish our relationship with, with you and what makes that possible, your sons and our Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.